Okay, in the video before this, uh, I had two bearings on each side. I took out one of the bearings on each side, so there's just one bearing on each side. And look how easy that spins now. Here's the frame end. I just want to show you there's a single bearing in here now. Here's how thick that Delrin plastic is, plus a polycarbonate. I'm going to put eight of these bolts around here to contain that really strong. Here's the rotor. There's two nuts. The hub is flush to the nuts. Here's the keyway. Okay, this just goes right here. Okay, rotor's in. Okay, here's the first central stator plate. I got some red ink and marks, red ink. I know it goes like this. There we go. Ah, oh, forgot. To, okay, I got it right. The nuts are in. To adjust the uh, space here. Okay, now, uh, okay, first stator plates in. Now I'm going to put in some nuts and washers here. Okay, now we got some washers here to support the next uh, stator plate plus some adjusting nuts for the next stator plate. Okay, before that next stator plate, put in the second rotor. Okay, that's in. Okay, here's the stator plate, the other one in the middle. Going right there, it's got washers, nuts. So you can lift it up a little bit, change the gap with these nuts here. Let's call these adjusting nuts. Okay, so got red ink, red ink, red ink. See the way the coils line up? So it's in there, right? Now I put on the third rotor. Okay, here's rotor number three right here. Okay, that's in. Now I gotta put in some uh, nuts and washers. Okay, I got washers in here, so now I have washers on both sides and nuts on both sides of this stator plate, nuts both sides of this stator plate, so I can move them, adjust them around. Okay, now I'm going to put more nuts and washers to support the frame end that's going to finally go on. Okay, now I got the washers to support the frame end and nuts behind them so now I can adjust things also with the frame end. Before I got the two nuts in, they're going to face up with the bearing in here. Got everything on for this. Got the red ink here, line them all up. Put the frame end on. There. Pull up the nuts a little bit here so it supports the frame in. Okay, now just washers and nuts on the final face of that frame end and it's uh, together. Okay, you can, there's a little bit of free play here with the rotor. 
So you can adjust that with these nuts here. Bring it down a little bit tighter. Just a little bit free play. Okay, it's all finger tight, but I can probably take it down now. Put it horizontal. Okay, now you can look down inside here and see what the air gap looks like between the cores and the rotor. And then adjust these uh, bolts here to move that stator plate to the left or the right. Adjusted all the air gaps between the rotors and the coils. It's halfway decent now. The rotors don't touch any of the cores. You can see it. It spins really easily because of the nine coils and cores against the eight magnets, so it doesn't latch up. Whoops. There's still too much fore and aft there. See that so that needs to be adjusted but you can see how uh